Um, hey, this is Mark Spoonauer with Laptop Magazine at CES 2011, and uh, today we're here with Snapstick, which has a really cool new uh, application for iPhone. This is a technology demo that allows you to enjoy media on your TV in a way that's a lot more seamless and easy than what you've seen from competitors, and they're going to walk us through with a quick demo. Great. All right. So Snapstick uh, wants to bring the whole web to television without changing the user behavior with respect mm -hmm. to how they navigate the web mm -hmm. and how they watch television, but still bridge the gap between these two. Right. So I'm going to be using my iPhone, uh, which I usually use to browse the web, mm -hmm. and we have a special application for that, which mm -hmm. is Snapstick. Right. And uh, this is a built-in browser. Uh, it's very similar to Safari browser, uh, so that people will know how to use it. Mm -hmm. And this is an uh, antenna where mm -hmm. uh, you could choose which device you want to snap to. Right. So currently we have two devices, and I'm going to be choosing this device. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm back to the browser, so I'm going to be browsing the web just like how, how I would do normally. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say I want to watch uh, YouTube. By the way, this URL bar is also uh, flexible enough for you to search for something. Right. Um, so YouTube, let's say I want to search for Bugatti. Mm -hmm. And it's loading Google results. Mm -hmm. um, so and then you can just click on a video. And right. I'm going to be clicking on this video I want to watch. Now I'm I'm in a uh, the YouTube web page which is, which is not obviously going to play here because Flash is not supported in the local browser. Right. But obviously our device can play Flash. Mm -hmm. So if I want to transfer this to TV, it's going to be as simple as one snap, and boom, it's going to be there. Neat. And mm -hmm. it's it's that simple. Um, and this software would be loaded on a set top box, right? That's the idea. Uh, yes, this, that's right. So mm -hmm. this is the proof of concept box mm -hmm. that has taken over uh, the, the web page and it does all the local rendering here. Right. But our software can go to any, go inside any box mm -hmm. that has the capability of this kind of box. Mm -hmm. um, so now that I got the YouTube web page, mm -hmm. uh, the next challenge is how do I make it full screen? Right. Because uh, uh, you know uh, that that's a natural. Uh, mm -hmm behavior for people. So what we do is we solve the problem by bringing the whole display, what you're playing on TV, mm -hmm. back to your iPhone mm -hmm. so that you get the exact same interface that you see on TV or laptop so that you just click one click, mm -hmm. it'll be full screen. Right. It's that simple. And once you're made full screen, mm -hmm. then you're done with that so that you can sit, relax, and enjoy that video. Mm -hmm. So you can go back to the browsing mode mm -hmm. uh, so that you can browse for more videos. Mm -hmm. Or you can even go and check your emails, for example. Mm -hmm. Or you know, you can you can make a call, or you can even turn off the phone. Mm -hmm. And Even while you're streaming, that's the idea. This is not, OK, so that's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Because nothing gets streamed from this device, uh, nothing gets streamed from iPhone mm -hmm. to that device. It's like sending instructions. Sending basically. instructions, exactly. Right. So mm -hmm. that device will do the complete rendering, mm -hmm. and then this device is used only for uh, controlling purposes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like you said, it could be any website, right? Like it could be any YouTube, website. I mean, Hulu or I can I can I can, I can give mm -hmm. you an example for Hulu. Mm -hmm. uh, let me first choose the device here. So, like I said, no, I, mm -hmm. I'm going to be searching again because I had to go to Hulu.com and then search for something. Right. I simply search for Hulu Family Guy. So even though it's blocked here, it doesn't matter, right? That's the idea. Uh, so what we have created is, you know, the whole software stack that we have created mm -hmm. is much like a PC platform. Right. So we have uh, we have a trimmed down version of Ubuntu Linux mm -hmm. operating system and an optimized Firefox browser. Mm -hmm. So it's it's going to behave exactly like a PC platform. Right. So for for Hulu or content providers, it's going to be it's going to be no different from a from a net a network or, or or any Linux desktop. Mm -hmm. But we do respect the content owners, so we, uh, you know we we are in that dimension. Mm -hmm. So let me let me choose this. Uh, All right, so I'm, I'm in Hulu's web page now. I want to bring this to uh, TV. Right. So again, I snap it. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like changing the channel in a way, right? It's, exactly. Yeah. It's just one click, it's changing the channel. Now, I br brought this web page. Mm -hmm. This is how I'm going to play. Again, like I said, I have the whole display here. Mm -hmm. In one click, it's playing there. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's playing the, the, the video. And then you can go full screen using right, the device. Right. As soon as the video comes up, I can right. I can make it full screen because uh -huh. Hulu has a very different interface to make it full screen. Right. And uh, that, that that's one thing that we are solving in a very different way because mm -hmm. uh, you know you know how to make it full screen for Hulu. Right. So let the video come up. Yeah, it's a slow Wi-Fi connection. Right. So what are you gonna do?
but the but uh, so you guys are you've already working or potentially collaborating with D Link, right? Right, that's right. So we made a, a press release like a few days back mm -hmm. where D Link is making a trial version on our box. Right. So uh, we are doing a lot of testing on the box now. Mm -hmm. And would they integrate this with? other boxes that they already sell, or be, would it be a separate box, do you think? Well, you know, we are make? talking in various different uh, dimensions, mm -hmm. so uh, there are lots of possibilities. Mm -hmm. We are exploring different opportunities there. Okay. And like you said before, you can just go to full screen. Right. I can just, by you know, I can just tap. And does it support whatever the highest this. resolution is? So if, like, if you're on YouTube and it says 1080p, will it go yes. to that? Okay. That's right. Because uh, the graph, the uh, graphics chip that we use here, mm -hmm. the hardware, uh, hardware accelerator that we use here, mm -hmm. is NVIDIA's graphics chip. Oh, okay. Uh, so it can support up to 1080p. Is it Tegra then? Uh, no, this is at, uh, Intel Atom processor with... Uh, oh, Ion? With Ion? Or? Exactly, NVIDIA okay. Ion. And yeah. By the way, this is off-the-shelf device. We didn't right. make a special hardware here. Yep. And it just connects to your TV via HDMI. Via HDMI. You know, there are some cool apps that we have, had, that we have which is oh, okay. primarily Skype. You know, I can launch Skype in mm -hmm. one click. Mm -hmm. There you go. The, uh, the Skype is there. You can sign in. Right. Um, yeah, I, I have to sign in here, but you know, it's quite slow. So uh, the idea is, you can mm -hmm. run Skype. That's why we have the camera right. that that can be connected to the USB port. Okay. And then you can run Skype and imagine you can uh, show uh, photos and then you can talk, talk to people. Right. So that's going to be a more more collaborative, uh, you know, uh, dimension to that. Mm -hmm. Kind of a social sharing. That's neat. And then, also, and then Pandora. Right, because so Pandora, you know, if you type Pandora.com, it's, mm -hmm. full, of, uh, it's full Flash. Mm -hmm. So there's no point in typing Pandora.com here and then snapping it because right. Flash is not going to work here. Yep. So what we have made is, you know, just one bookmark. Mm -hmm. Pandora, in, in fact, is actually going to open Pandora.com there. Oh, by itself? By itself. Okay. That's great. So what this means is, you know, uh, this device doesn't have to be necessarily connected to the TV. Mm -hmm. It has a headphone jack. It can also be connected to speakers. Mm -hmm. So you can stream, uh, you know, Pandora's music or mm -hmm. any web music videos, for example. So could you potentially use this for playing web-based games too? Uh, that's an interesting question because web-based games, there are certain certain games like mm -hmm. Chess.com, for example, mm -hmm. which is not very real uh, real-time sensitive. Uh, right. Uh, the, the, the late, uh, latency. Latency. Sensitive. Yeah. Uh, so Chess.com. Uh, definitely, we can play. Mm -hmm. And uh, but there are some uh, games which we we cannot obviously play for because of the latency issues. Mm -hmm. And you can easily just change stations, just oh, as yeah. you would. Just right? I would no, I just zoom in, zoom in, and then you know I can say YouTube, mm -hmm. radio. Yeah, there you cool. Go. Looks great. All right. Well, thank you very great. much. Thank you.